the uh, green white one. I'm I'm kind of excited for that one, honestly. Yeah. Oh my god, she will not shut up. She's just screaming. I don't know if the mic picks it up, but one of our other cats is just in the other room screaming her head off. All right. Let's actually uh, play. Let's see. All right. So if you follow Channel Fireball... Okay, that's good. You can't hear her. Okay. If you follow Channel Fireball, uh, you may have recently seen an LSV video where he played Mono Green Ramp in Pioneer with, with Karn the Great Creator, Vivian Arkbo, and Nissa. And the thing is, most of the cards he's playing in that deck are legal in Historic. And so, why not? Why, why not have fun in Historic? Notably, we don't get to play with Nick, uh, Nykthos, Shrine to Nyx, because that card is broken and was thankfully not reprinted. However, we do get to play with a bunch of other fun cards. Oh, it was you. It wasn't her. It was you. Sorry. Screaming Cat has been identified and is not the cat I thought it was. Um, so, what, what are we getting out of this? Um, cut a forest for a second, Galta. No, please stop. That wasn't in chat, but no, please stop. All right. Uh, what we get that Pioneer doesn't get is Leyline of Abundance. This card is banned in Pioneer, but not in Historic for some reason. Uh, so this doubles up our mana production. We only have one, one mana, or four, I guess, one mana dorks, but this should help out anyway. Uh, then we have Incubation Druid and Paradise Druid as our two drop dorks. And Vivian Arcbow makes this make a lot of mana and our payoff. So we want to get Vivian Arcbow to five. We want Karn out and Nissa helps make mana, but these two are our tutor effects for our sideboard. Whoop, wrong button. Sideboard. Little little aggro, little combo, uh, more combo, annoying planeswalker, uh, aggro, uh, uh, that enchantment that people play that I don't remember the name of, reclamation, uh, you know, value, because we have some value. We have some uh, sacrifice. We have... Uh, Field of Ruin and Blast Zone, so that's that's cool. <clears throat> oh, this is for aggro matchups. Uh, you know, control matchups. I'll get back to these two in a second. Uh, Meteor Golem takes care of anything. Great Hinge is a grindy card. Galta, him big. And Soul Coil Serpent, him big. So, uh, Helm of the Host... And God Pharaoh's gift. So let's pull up Karn here a second. Uh, you can tutor two cards and then you plus them the rest of the time. And when you plus them, it says, until your next turn, up to one target non-creature artifact becomes a creature. Woo. So the trick is you make God Pharaoh's gift into a creature. It's a 6-6 six, six that says spells your opponent's cast cost two more to cast. And at the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses one life. And then you equip it with Helm of the Host, which says, at the beginning of combat on your turn, create a token that's a copy of equipped creature, except that token isn't legendary. This is legendary. It's a creature with Helm of the Host on it. It makes another one of these, which isn't legendary. So, yeah, that's that's the cute little combo out of the sideboard. I love it. Uh, yeah, let's go uh, golf to some nerds, huh? Oh, rip, rip, rip. Also, Helm Meteor Golem is totally a combo, yes. But but I wanted to talk about the cuter combo. Ooh, it's a free league. I love it when playing leagues pays for playing leagues. What on earth? Whenever you cast a spell... <laughs> I 
All right. Uh, let's see. We have a ley line. We have a dork. And then this can do this. Uh, this hand is kind of medium, but I think it's fine. Turn to Nissa. Marty attacks for more than 50 damage. In what? Hello, hello. Sorry, I was... Oh, hey, look. I, I'm a lucky person. We're going to have so much mana. Wow, I, I wasn't going to block, but okay. All right. Uh, do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. That was turn two. <laughs> um now it can ban, right? What is this? Oh, that's flying, sure. Not impressed. Uh, all right, I'm supposed to have this up so I can see what we can get out of our sideboard. How much mana do we have? Let's see. If we do this, then we have two, four, and then that taps for six. So we have six mana for creatures. Uh, our only creature that we could cast is Stone Coil Serpent. Shut up. I'm thinking. Okay. We can't cast the statue off of off of uh, this. Is the issue? We can do that next turn. No, I hit the wrong button. All right. <laughs> we figured it out. Turn 366. Go. Let's uh let's be the dark and scary one. Yeah, raise the alarm. Okay. Please don't read Stone Coil Serpent. Oh, they read it. All right. Um 2 4 6 7 8 9. So now we get statue. Or we can get Meteor Golem and just, like, kill this or kill this. Hmm. Hmm. Choices, choices. Great Hinge is an interesting one. Do we just get Great Hinge? Eh, let's get Statue. This has abilities, right? To cast creature spells or activate abilities. Okay, so let's... Oh, I can't cast this? Did I goof? No, I didn't goof. Neat. Neat. We have what I would describe as a lot of mana. Is this doing it? I mean, if it's not doing it, I don't, I don't, I kind of don't want to see what doing it is. Uh, all right. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they have to block with literally everything here. And then if they do, I just pump it. Yeah, that, that also is a thing. That also is a choice they can make. 
Let's, uh... Uh... In turn. I would like a Vivian. Oh, they're Mardu? What? <laughs> Wait a minute, they're Mardu? Oh god. It scared the ever living crap out of me. Library. <laughs> uh, is there something else I want to get? <laughs> yeah. Keep that one. I think... I think we're just going to keep sort of slowly abyssing them to death here. <laughs> this deck is something. Some Sometimes... Okay, no, I don't want to say the thought I just had. Because it's mean, it's inappropriate, it's unfair to our opponent. So I won't say the words that just came to my head. You know what the best part about this? We could be pressuring them with BTEs, but eh. Exactly. It's fine. Oh, there are three threes now? Yeah, maybe you should. Are they roping us? We probably deserve to be roped. <laughs> Is that... Am I allowed to say that? We probably deserve to be roped, honestly. How much mana do we have? So this is three... Four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen before we even touch this. So we could totally get Helm of the Host next turn. Then we're definitely Yeah, exactly. I'm like not even mad that they're roping me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I deserve this. Uh, what? Sure. Sorry, I was I was tweeting. Wait, we can use Helm for multiple Galtas? Oh, no. I was going to do it for multiple statues, but it's definitely supposed to be multiple Galtas, huh? <laughs> I'm the bad guy. Duh. Do, do, do. <laughs> I need to put that on a soundboard. Because I'm definitely the bad guy right now. We must be, be Tron. I mean, look at this. We have Karn. We have Karn. We have expensive spells that, that are only good if you cast them for dirt cheap. <laughs> Man, this deck seems great. Here is the best part. Oh, never mind. They just roped out. We didn't even get to show them the best part of the deck. We have lands that make more than... Yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> fair magic. Oh my gosh. This is the fairest of magic. <laughs> oh gosh. Dispersed me 54. We get to play first. That's busted. Uh, this hand's okay. It's not as cool as the last game's hand was, but it's fine. I kind of want to play this on two so that I can play this the turn after and put a counter on it. Yeah, you got a goose. Lucy goose. Yeah, I think that is actually the play here. Just pass the turn. Let's draw land. Green! Opponent feeling a bit salt eye. Professional. I am. I am everything from deer to dinosaurs. Oh, I'm glad you like dinosaurs, because let me tell you, HUD. I don't really need that. Neat! Alright. Let's, let's draw a payoff? No? Okay. So we have four, five, eight mana... Oh, we can get Meteor Golem. But we lose this if we get Meteor Golem. I don't think I'm interested in losing this yet. How does this work? X is total power. Three, four, five, six. So this costs... Uh, six? We have six power. This costs six, right? I'm doing the Galta math right. Two, five, six, uh, ten minus four is six. No, wait. Ten minus six is four. Four, five, six. Then I have six? Yeah, okay. Sure. Let's do that. <laughs> Turn four, Galta. Okay, here's the best part about this deck. And we're done sideboarding. Yeah, I know. It, it isn't that I thought my math was wrong or that I was reading the card wrong. It's that, like, it's ridiculous that I could do that. So I was just making sure, right? Like, this is not something that should be okay. Marty, what should I donate for? Uh... I like I like the concept of adventures and and uh, ranger like the green white aggro sort of build looks really sweet. The sideboard is exactly the sideboard's the main deck. I, this, um, hmm. Oh, this hand must be good. It's got Leyline and a one mana dork. <laughs> oh no! We're gonna lose to Mulligans. Alright, uh, we have to put two cards back, so we'll put that and that back. Wow. They had to play a tap land in their deck. How unfortunate. Let's draw a land. Let's draw a land. Let's draw a land. Let's draw a land. Or not. We have five mana next turn, though. Got that going for us. No! We only have 
three mana now. Land. I'm just gonna keep running this back until it lives. Noxious Grasp. That's that's not nice, opponent. See, this is two, four, five, so that's three, so these would trade. So this means they can either kill my mana or kill my, my Vivian. Hold on, we're doing it again. We've got about 10 more. Yeah, right? We're working on it. So I think they're killing my druid. Some something tells me. I got this feeling. Oh, they're killing it that way. Well, this just means I get to kill their Raska though. Oh, thank. Thank words that I was going to say that are inappropriate. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank goodness. Except a little bit more blue. <laughs> Just a teensy bit more blue. All right. Command the Dread Horde. Well, there's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Oh no, they had the land. Uh, this is annoying, honestly, because like I could trade here, but then they play this, and they're left with a 5-6, and I'm left with a 3-3. Three, three. One, two, three, four. So this comes in with two, and then it can go up to four, so it's a 4-5. I'm going to no blocks. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of sick of drawing you, if I'm honest. Let's see. Two, four, five, six. Oh, Lord. They have a lot of good stuff there, huh? Uh, the problem with, like, trying to kill this is, like, their graveyard's kind of stacked. All right, that's, that's nothing. All right, let's draw a card. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm pretty well off in... Ooh. Ooh, baby, baby. Oh, we get our pet, pet the cat. My fingers are being licked. He's petting me. Stormy. Stormy, bud. That's so good for us. Um, five, nine, ten. Uh, so if I play this, I have six mana. So this is four or eight. I'm here to watch you lose. Uh, oh, Ral is still my avatar. My gosh. I'm just going to fight this down. Maybe this is wrong. I just don't want to kill this is my problem. Look, we, we're already 1-0, and oh, and we won game one here, so. Really? 
Really? How much do my, does my stuff tap for now? Four each? Neat. All right. That means we can block and then pump this. Yes, die for your craft. Oh, yeah. You love to see it. They're just going to draw a ritual of soot, and I'm going to be the saddest puppy ever. Okay, just a Nissa. Just a Nissa. Let's draw a card. <laughs> My creatures are bigger than your creatures. Slowly. I just want to draw a card. What would I, what would I, um, let's see. What would we get? Entrancing Liar to deal with this so we can start attacking? Leyline is not a fair card. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's these two? Shrug? I don't know. Oh, they sacrificed the thing that scared me to put another one on top? What are they putting on top? Command the Dread Horde? Uh, Noxious Grasp. Okay. That makes sense. And then they can draw it. One, two, three. Yeah, they can draw it and cast it this turn. Cage. Let's see. Let, let me read Cage, because I'm always... Players can't... Creature cards and graveyards and libraries can't enter the battlefield. Yeah. Sure. It's dead, Jim. I drew a land. Sure. Yeah, they're 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 working us a little bit. That's why we need a Karn. Or an elf. What if we drew a Lanor elf? Uh <sighs> Tamio picks up command the dread horde and we die? Two, five. Yeah, I think we just died a bit. We 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 did pretty well for two lands, but Elf is just as good as Karn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. I don't see a way out of this, so... This is gonna ultimate next turn. Alright, have a good one, pizza. I mean, they lose this. I don't know why they brought it in. Or they don't lose it, but it's a zero one. Like, it doesn't do anything. They, they literally lost two life for no reason.
All right, well, we drew our third land way too late. Let's go into game three. All right, uh, sideboard plan done. <laughs> Deck beat itself. Uh... Am I the only one who remembers when the Dreadhorde decks were playing Tristani? Yeah, no, they definitely played Tristani for a little bit. I didn't play in paper, though. Yeah, I think this is a mall. Like, no Llanowar Elf makes it kind of awkward. But then again, we have these to help us sort of pull through. Well, we wouldn't be able to cast them in three. Yeah, okay. I, I convinced me as well. Uh, we'll keep this bottom paradise druid. Turn three, Vivian Arcbow onto this. Oh, love drawing lands. Let me tell you. Please don't kill my druid. Please don't kill my druid. You love to see it. You you love to see it. Civilization has crept too far. Tear it down. My my, how you've grown. Is this good? This seems really slow and fair, right? Oh, look, another 3 2. <laughs> All right, so that's six, nine mana. Uh, whatever, let's just get Galta. Wait, where is it? Galta doesn't have Hexproof, which was annoying. Whatever. We're getting Galta. Nature's always got my back. That's, well, they have no Noxious Grass. They showed us that last game. All right. Big dumb dino. Four, we can get Helm of the Host. I have plans. <laughs> I have plans. This deck is amusing. Yeah, to say the least. Yes, you can deal with one Galta, but can you deal with two? Don't Noxious Grasp it, please. Don't Noxious Grasp it. Grasp it. All right. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> we didn't even get to equip right no fun no fun this is the biggest dumbest deck uh that's accurate keep this yeah I'm, I'm considering it he might hate it actually because it's it's kind of a dumb person deck but whatever <laughs> despired me 54 or dispersed me 54 thank you for the games i recognize that name hey window head welcome to the stream thank you for the follow 
I'm so sorry that my deck is big and dumb. Good games. <laughs> uh, if I play this... I'm going to play this, actually. Because then we can play a big Hydra next turn and then a Galta the next turn. Just, uh, so gross. Uh... <laughs> Thank you. It, it, it was, it, they were good games. Everyone had clean fun. So one, two, three, let's make a six, six. Don't counter me, bruh. Turn three, six, seven, your move. All right. See you around. <laughs> Tap out for, like, a Tamiyo or something. Ha-ha! All right. No Ballista, but still, right? Ballista would actually be really sick here, because then I could just kill them. But, you know... Kill them through fog, especially. I'm just flopping down big old dinos. <laughs> that seems desperate. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, submit. I like this deck because I don't have to think about sideboarding. I'm, I, I'd like a Ballista. Gosh, Ballista would be pretty crazy in Historic, actually, because then you have uh, Ranger of Eos plus Ballista plus Heliod. <laughs> have no fun. Oh, come on. Oh, no. no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I'm not sure I want Ballista, but I also really want Ballista. Because... That's a pretty sick combo. Oh, forgot to change Ral and we won a game. Oh, no. <laughs> this doesn't have any payoffs. It's kind of the issue. This also does not pay offs, but it has more density here. So I'm going to keep this bottom Paradise Druid. Maybe I wasn't supposed to bottom Paradise Druid. Just because it has two power is my thought. Burning Tree Emissary is broken. Please ban. Okay. So previously, I was unsure about Burning Tree Emissary in this deck. But now that we have Galta in the list, it makes a lot of sense. Like, Galta makes Burning Tree Emissary make a ton of sense in this deck. Yep. They are who we thought they were. Uh, four... Yeah, okay. Just putting a bunch of big dumb things into play. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I knew they were playing Nexus. They had a pretty crappy draw the first game, but... I thought it was kind of obvious... Eight, ten, we have eleven power in play. What can we draw? What? Hmm. 
I guess we want Meteor Golem. Oh, they just play a 5 5. Okay. Makes sense. Blocks my stuff. Uh, so Entrancing Liar is actually kind of interesting. We don't have a ton of mana yet. Um, hey, we drew a Karn. That's a start to doing things. Uh, with Karn... What do we get with Karn? <laughs> do we get God Pharaoh's statue and hope they don't combo us next turn? Four, five, six. God Pharaoh's statue is six. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Oh, we can't cast both of these, huh? Yeah. I think this is too slow. Uh, I don't really want to draw that again. Blast zone. Oof. Search for his canta. Oh, uh, do they already have the Nexus? Of course. They can't attack with Lovestruck Beast because they don't control a 1 1. They can pump that up. They can't kill Burning Tree Emissary, notably, because it would also kill their search for his Kanta. I mean, it's not flipping this turn, so I think they're going after Karn here. Yeah, so they're going after Karn. Or just drawing two cards, sure. Huh. Oh, I don't have another mana. Uh, I was thinking I could cast this and do the trick. Yeah, this is way too slow. Ten... 15 mana. 4, 6, 7 is the most mana I can have. So I can cast both of these next turn. And then this the turn after. But I don't know that we're getting a turn after, honestly. I think we goofed up. It's fine. Yeah, they have Tamio, they have Wilderness Reclamation, they have Escanta. We're just going to move on to game three. It's fine. Hopefully we draw some ley lines, yeah. Play first. 
Gosh, all my payoffs and none of my ramp. Ramp deck problems. I'm keeping this. Uh, is this greedy? Is this greedy? Okay, so look, here, here's my thought process, right? Turn two is BTE, BTE, Incubation Druid. We draw the third land, play Vivian Arcbow, pump this up and this up, and then we just have, like, tons of mana. Yeah, I guess I, guess I don't need two BTEs. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. I just kind of want to kill him, but yeah. <laughs> Look, I would not have been punished. <laughs> Y'all need more greed in your life. I would not have been punished in the slightest. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now I'm getting punished for not bottoming a land? Is that what's happening right now? <laughs> uh, four, seven, ten, eleven. Huh. Do I just call to... Uh, I can Galta, I could, uh, Thrashy Bee, I could Questing Beast. If I Karn, I can get, um, Meteor Golem. We're fit enough to survive. <laughs> Don't have enough for that. Uh, anything I can do this turn that's interesting? I'm just going to Meteor Golem for next turn. Sure. Three, seven, eight, or all my lands tap for six, nine. Yeah. Oh, that's why you play it. You can animate it. Duh. Oh, you... Ah! Oh, never mind. I'm dumb. Ignore me. This is special mana, though, isn't it? I'm still one short. Still one short. Maybe I shouldn't have... Yeah, because it didn't let me choose what mana I spent, so obviously I would have left two from this instead of from this. Yay! 
And I was going to go get Galta, and we were going to have a great old time. We're 3-0. We're 3-0. We're Fix Ral. Fixed. Although, if we lose this next one, it's your fault. <laughs> if we lose blame... Oh my gosh, my chat is out to get me. This is what I'm talking about. Sure. Oh, we even drew a land. One, so we only have four. So this is for two. We got a 4-5 on turn two. I know, I'm the worst. Turn three, Nyssa. Sure. Oh, they're going to make bats. Oh, no. Uh, right. In turn, sure. Okay, that's kind of scary. It's, that's a thing. If they have an oven. Karn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, chat. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, Graft Digger's Cage. Duh. <laughs> By the way, our side words 100% transmogrifying. Yeah, eh. Shrug. <laughs> oh no. I don't I don't think it's that necessary. Oh, we have a crucible. Oh, it's better than. Never mind. Sorry, I misread that. Rip opponent. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, we only have two lands that we can cast from our graveyard. Karn is just completely rude, huh? It turns off their food, it turns off their oven, and then we put in Grafdigger's Cage so they can't even get reassembling skeleton back. Oh my gosh. They can't even get cat back by sacrificing food to it. Yeah. Karn is great. Let's have a turn two Karn. Not a turn two Karn, but definitely a keep. Do you concede? Uh, yes, I have pregame actions. Do you concede? A mortal sun. Ooh. I forgot that card exists. This is a sad nonbo, but I think it's worth. All right, uh, what am I doing? Just this. Sure. You will not threaten this world. 
Get Graft Digger's Cage again. Pass the turn. Not going to attack. Going to protect my Karn. This one doesn't seem particularly close. I got tagged somewhere. Oh no. Oh, okay. Uh, turn your deck off. Play a thing. All right, we drew a land. Fantastic. Uh, plus Karn for value. Don't want to make this a creature because then they could kill it. What does this card even do? As long as your devotion to black is less than five, yeah, whenever another creature you control dies, you pay to life, draw a card, sacrifice another creature. Okay, sure. Whatever. What what am I doing here? I have two I have five mana. Uh five mana gets me. I could turn off their Erebus, too, with Sorcerer's Spyglass. Um, three, four, five. And this is six. That's 11. I'm going to start here. Just going to do this. Let's see where we go. We drew a land. That's nice. Ready to go. There it is. I was looking for the wrong art, if I'm honest. Sorcerer's Spyglass. Name. Oh, I love this setup. Oh, gosh. Um, ah, they concede. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I apologize to all my opponents. I don't know what's in my deck, so every turn is an adventure. <laughs> oh gosh, this is much better than yesterday. This is much better than yesterday. is this deck oh man how does reduke play john so it's right god we played Junge yesterday and i was just like i'm so hungry it's frustrating <laughs> and it's because i'm playing this deck it's just uh Transfigurifying one enters the battlefield with three charge counters on. Oh, that makes a 2-4. So the reason we don't play transf Transmogrifying one is because we have uh, Entrancing Liar, which is just better. Like, you can just copy uh, Entrancing Liar and leave and just tap down all their creatures. Come on, Bazinga. There is so much flavor of Breach Day, right? Uh, Breach is a busted card. That's true. Hmm. All right. No, dork. No, dork. This isn't the deck I signed up for. I signed up for a deck that starts in its hands with dorks. I'm about to do this, aren't I? 
Six power on, on turn two? It's six power on turn two. Let the greed consume you, chat. Oh. Six power on turn two. Okay. Yeah. Paradise Druid? No. Drawing all my payoffs and none of my ramp. I feel like a ramp deck. I can't even cast this as an O one <laughs> because it's because they make red green. <laughs> I didn't even do anything. <laughs> Zazzy Zazzy with the follow. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh. This hand's going places, chat. This hand is going places. Magic isn't gambling. I want everyone to remember. Magic is not gambling. Oh, I should have attacked. Eh, eh, I'd rather keep my dorks. Turn three, Nissa. Turn three, Nissa. Traits? Turn four, Galta. It's double steamkin. Yeah, that's true. Like, they could go off, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Sure. Light up the stage is a good draw for them. Oh no! Oh no, my hubris! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I think I just lose Nissa, huh? How much mana do I have next turn? For for this specifically. So I'm losing three power. So this costs five, and I'm gonna have three, four mana. Right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh So I think I block here. What? What happened? You just suddenly woke up, bud. Because Nissa just gives me like infinite mana, basically. Oh, we got to pet the cat. Maybe that was right. I, I wanted to trade is the issue, but yeah, Burn Spell does prevent me from trading. Although, okay, yeah, it kills it. So they still get to cast this, annoyingly. Oh, I still lose my Nissa too. Oh, they didn't cast this though. That's kind of good for me. 
one, two, three, so I can eat their three one. And this also blocks this pretty well. Hoot hoot, hoot 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 hoot. Yep. And then they cast that. I lose some mana dorks. Alright. Do I want lands, or do I want something that guaranteed kills this next turn? Like, this can buff up to kill this. Yeah, I think so, too. Do I want a Karn? I don't think so. I have their board in check, unless this is not a land, I guess. I kind of just want to, like, have my team survive so I can guaranteed cast this next turn. This is where they rip cleave. Oh, look. Oh, look, a cleave pause. Does cleave kill us? Uh, 5, 10. Yes, cleave kills us. So... I know this story, right? And Cleveland. Welcome to Cleveland. What? You what, mate? What? Oh, I see. I see. Uh, butts. Ten thousand butts. That was an unexpected burn spell, if I'm honest. Look at distraction. Look at distraction. Is this fight or bite? It's bite. I mean, I can't do it because they're attacking, but... I mean, we can't... Get it, but yes, we do. Gosh. If they don't kill Vivian, if they go after our face, then we... Yeah. <gasps> Don't kill us. All right. Oh, it's not even that good here. Oh, I guess it gains us some life, right? I'm not sure you can handle what I have planned. Gains us three life. Gains us three life and chump blocks. So it gains us, gains us a little bit more life. Uh, no, I need lands. I need lands. Get to the lava runner. Only attacking with this. Do I double block, then they kill this, and I can't Gelta? All right, we're going to four. You love to see it. Not double burn spells. 
Not double burn spells. Haste creatures count as burn spells. Not double burn spells. That's a whiff. Y'all wanted to get rid of Fountain? Y'all wanted to get rid of Fountain? <laughs> oh. Yikes. You hate to see it. No! <laughs> no, please, mercy. Mercy. Mercy! There was no mercy that day. It's okay. Game three on the play. Game three on the play. <laughs> mercy. <laughs> oh, Lord. Gosh. I wonder if... No, they only have one one drop in play. Never mind. Frenzy is a good magic card. Let's draw our good four drop enchantment, but in our opener and in a hand that like just absolutely destroys them for thinking they're good. Oh boy. <laughs> the three BTEs was pretty good. And we were on the draw that game. We stole game one off of a mult of five into three burning tree emissaries. It's it's as it's as four mana as it comes when you draw it on turn three, okay? Gosh, we were done sideboarding ages ago, opponent. Where you been? <laughs> this deck is fun. I love this uh, sideboarding music, at least. <laughs> he says in the silence. All right, here we go. Okay, we'll keep. It's like turn one, turn two, so we'll take it. Wait, why are you, why are you like this? You should be like that. Oh, yeah, basically. If it wasn't so much effort to do it on Arena, I would totally do that. I just want to point out the hypocrisy of this Jace uh, avatar from our opponent. Don't shock him. All right. You should have shocked the elf. You should have shocked the elf. That was a really bad play. All right, and we drew a land. Nice. No respect for the elf. Field Ruin, not particularly good in this matchup, but here we are. Yeah, I agree. Like, both both of the other targets were much better than that. Whirly Boy makes us very sad. Okay. <laughs> we only have one card that gains life, and it's not in our deck, so... Sure. 
Uh, we have both. <laughs> we have one of each. Oh, and Fountain. You're right, you're right. You're gonna kill my Jade Light Ranger? Hmm, they can Chain Whirler here? Yeah, you can hit it for one. Sure. Light up the stage, I guess. Yep. Get two and a shock. They should have done that pre-combat, I guess. My 3-2 is dead. Vivian, Karn, Vivian, Karn. Jade Light. Look, I will float mana. It's fine, Arena. Let me float mana. Library. Library. Um... This. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we win. 5 0. All righty. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I was... Okay, this is actually kind of funny. I'll, I'll explain why in a moment. Ooh. That is not my first Savage Stomp. Time to run it back for the Tino. Uh, <laughs> so this is the funny part. Our first opponent conceded after game one. So we only got nine wins, like nine game wins. Anyway. I was like, why does that say 9? Shouldn't it say 10? I, um, um, hmm. So, uh, <laughs> I need to stop going 5 0, number one, because you're going to think I'm a good magic player and I'm not. Thoughts on this deck? Uh, we were talking about this. We can cut, uh, where is it? Fountain of Renewal and bring in Immortal Sun to the sideboard. Yes, it's technically a non-bow with our Planeswalkers, but if they have four Planeswalkers and we have one, eh. Crucible is Deandra's pet card. It's not mine. <laughs> I actually kind of like uh, Fountain, if I'm honest. I like Fountain because uh, Karn can get it. So, like, you have Citizen Petitioners for Vivian to grab, and then you have Fountain for Karn to grab. Yeah, and we only have two lands that care about it, so... Other than that... What did we think about the sideboard? Let's see. We grabbed this at one point, and it was a house. We didn't face anyone... <laughs> Where this mattered, so that's whatever. Uh, this came in at one point. This came in. We lost that game, but it that was close. Uh, this could have worked for us at one point, but we didn't reach that point, and we won the match anyway. I'm excited to see this here, but we never got to use it. Same here. We uh, brought these in at one point, and it just didn't work out for us. Meteor Golem's great. This was great. Galta was the best yeah yeah exactly qb is qb is great against fog so this card was good oh man this the sideboard seems right i like where the sideboard is now uh the main deck was perfect question mark question mark like the one galta in the main was actually super relevant because like 
sometimes you just draw into your Galta and you don't need to lose your, your Vivian. Eh, these are free, right? We have 20 green sources, which is more than enough. These are free. This is perfectly fine. Yeah, she was saying, like, do this. But I I like having 20 green sources. Just drawing into the Galta off of, like, Jade Light Ranger is fine. So that was cool. We 5-0'd. Uh, we, <laughs> we had the most fun 5-0-ing, I think. I, w I would like to posit that we had way more fun than our opponents at the very least um yeah i yeah yeah 